this is probably going to be the hardest video for me to make. Um, this song is the most emotional song and the most heart-wrenching and tear-jerking song I think Gus has ever wrote. Um, this song is also the reason why I recently deleted my most viewed video, and we'll touch base on that a little later, and I'll explain why I did that. Um, now, this song was for Come Over When You're Sober too, and I think this is one of the few songs that Smoke the Sack really didn't change at all. Um, I think we'll never know for sure about some of the songs that we never heard and know really if they were ever changed, but I have a feeling, and I think fans can tell too, which songs were changed and songs that weren't changed. I have a 100% feeling that this is probably the exact version that Gus recorded. Um, because Peep is an artist, when you start changing beats, you really start tampering the emotion that was capsulated. This song bears so much emotion, I think it's probably exactly how Peep recorded it. Um, and we have to remember, um, a lot of the, a majority of the album is untouched. Uh, Dylan only changed a few beats around, um, but I think the, the songs that he changed had so much anticipation built around them that it kind of gives you an overwhelming effect of change that wasn't even there to begin with. Uh, Dylan really didn't change everything on the album. He only changed like three or four things. Um, but like I said, it kind of just gives you a big picture where it just uh, makes this instant uh, distaste grow in you. So, But when you look on paper, he didn't really change that much of it. But now I want to get to the song. I think it's songs like this that when, when Gus wrote songs like this, it exposed him as definitely being a spokesperson for a generation. Um, besides him not being alive, this is what I'm going to miss most about him not being here, is him not being able to write music like this going forward. I think Fingers really exemplifies Peep songwriting at its Super Saiyan form. Um, there was no, I don't think Peep could have um, advanced anymore. I think this was the final shape of his artistry. Um, I think his musicianship is so developed at this point. Um, I just think, it, no doubt in my mind, he would have been the face of music. I'm not even saying of this genre, I'm saying music, period. I think Peep would have got the cover of Spin, cover of Rolling Stone. I think he would have actually brought MTV back. I think that um, the things that he would have done and the vast changes he would have made to the industry would have been indescribable. Uh, we can only speculate, but I have a good feeling that Peep would have been once in a, once in a 20 years kind of artist that comes around and really just shakes everything up. Um, I don't think a lot of people disagree with that either. Um, now this song, uh, even if you're not really um, emotional when you listen to music, um, this is a song that instantly generates almost tears in your eyes. Um, when I listen to Fingers, I can probably make it about... I don't know, 30, 40 seconds in before I just start crying like a baby. Uh, it's very rare, personally, on me that music has an effect on me. Um, music I does tend to make me emotional, but where the fact where um, I start crying and my eyes start welting up, it's very rare. And this song has an effect on me every single time. So I just think it goes to show the, the beautiful depth and dynamic to peep songwriting. Uh, not only could he make songs for himself to enjoy, and that would purge his own angst and inner emotion, he also had a way of doing it where it would help others out, and I think that's why he was so embraced by his fans, and I think that's why he doesn't have fans. He has family. Uh, peep never had a fan base. He has a family base. All his fans are lifelong fans. If you listen to a Peep song and you like it, then you are you become latched on instantly, and you grow with him. Um, Peep's not the kind of artist where you pick up his cassette, and after you listen to it, you just just throw it in your box or drawer and forget about it. Um, you will listen to that all the time and it will become a soundtrack to your personal life. Uh, whether you are a man or a woman, uh, Peep has that kind of effect where he can really just become an accessory in your everyday life. Um, this song is just so fucking emotional and I just think it really highlights the fact that Peep could move mountains when he decided to. When he really decided to write an emotional song, I don't think anyone was on his level. I think he was in the lane of his own. And that's very important in songwriting, when you can really have an impact on someone's life and bring tears to their face. Um, and this song does that. And I also want to um, note that it's this is probably the closest song we'll get from Peep, where he's actually saying goodbye. Um, now, I'm not saying, you know, he's telling everyone he's going to check out, but he's really embracing the fact that 
um, he doesn't think he will last long. And it's almost like he's admitting that he's not fully happy here. He's content, but he's not happy. And he just thinks from the way he's living his life, he doesn't really, he's not 100% sure if he'll be here tomorrow. He wants to be, but he just doesn't know if he will be. And I think that's beautiful. If there's ever a song where people could say goodbye to everyone, um, watch, uh, watch Me Bleed in this are probably the closest songs to it. This is a song that I will never forget. And this is a song why I deleted my most viewed video. Uh, my uh, Smoke a Sack Butcher Come Over When You're Sober 2 video was my highest viewed video. Uh, I was almost at 16,000 views. And even though I had more likes than dislikes, I just did not want this kind of stigma around my channel. I don't do this for views. So after this uh, part two album has really grown on me lately and really just become a part of my everyday life, I had to delete that video. So last night, after listening to Fingers about three times, I said, fuck that, I'm deleting that video. I want that shit off my channel. And not only that, I deleted it off my iCloud as well. So that video is gone. I, I wiped it. It's it's whole existence out so it's just a testament i don't want that kind of stigma around my channel going forward and this song just means so much to me now and i really have a whole new outlook on this album i love it and i'm really upset that i made that video to begin with come over when you're sober too it's amazing